and welcome back to Queen's Mindset. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today, we're actually going to be talking about working from home versus working in the office. So before we go any further, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Welcome back. Okay, so let's get into it. Working from home, what does that mean? So working from home, there are several things that could be a bit challenging because now you have to adjust if you have never worked from home before you know trying to find your space it's like at first it feels like it's going to be fun it's going to be cool but then when you get into it you recognize oh my gosh this is actually more work than actually working in the office why is that i am yet to i'm yet to find out as well because for me what i have found is that i've had to set some boundaries i've had to put some things in place when you're working from home, you want to be able to set boundaries. Boundaries are very important. It's important, it's crucial that you set those because if you don't, people begin to overstep and they will go into a place where you may not be able to pull them back. And let me explain that. So for example, if you're working from home and your time for work is a set time, let's give an example. Let's say you're working from nine to five. That's your timeline. Now, from 9 to 5, you know that that's when you work, okay? You also know that when you're at work, you have a lunch hour. So please, take your lunch hour. You also know that when you're at work, you get to go to the bathroom. You get to go um, to, like, to the cooler to get some water. Or you get to go to get some juice or tea or whatever. But you get to take some form of a break instead of just sitting there and not moving and doing work throughout you get to actually move. So that is the same thing when you're home. When you're home, you're gonna apply that same process because you're working and you need to take a break. What I've found is that as persons are working from home, they're forgetting to take a break. They're forgetting to take that moment for themselves. So it's okay to take a two minute, a five minute break because you wanna be able to refresh yourself. And one of the things that you wanna ensure that you're doing is that you're retaining your mental health because you don't wanna be stuck just doing work, 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 especially in this season where we're already confined to our homes. You know, with this virus, you, you're already at home. You're doing everything at home. So you're having church at home. You're actually teaching school at home now with your children if you have then you're working from at home, if you're exercising, it's not happening online and you exercise, like everything is happening inside the household. And it's like, you don't want to overwhelm yourself so much with that. So one of the other things that I also apply is that, make sure that when you get up in the morning, that you get ready for work. And when I say get ready for work, I mean, go take a shower, go put on clothing, like and you don't have to dress up well like the way you would dress to go into the office but put on clothing that still makes you feel like you have put in some work you know so look appropriate in case you get a unexpected video call maybe your boss calls you or you know something comes up and you have to deal with it right now and you have that video conference you want to make sure that you look the part right i'm not saying you have to go and do full depth makeup and, or you have to go the nine yards but you want to make sure that you're presentable that if you're called upon at the last hour that you are dressed appropriately right and the other thing is set set a task have a list of tasks that you have to complete for the day so that you can guide through them by tipping off those things that you have to complete another important thing is if you have children you want to make sure that if it's possible because all the time it's not possible if you have a support team that you have a conversation with whoever is on your support team where you can say okay from nine to five is when i work i'll take my lunch hour at 12 at one whatever that time is for you and then you'll be able to break and give them a break or you guys can manage it in terms of you know interchanging who who gets to take the break or the lunch at what time and what do you do how do you manage your children because especially if you have toddlers i know it's easier said than done you have all the great plans but i mean those children they don't know anything about those plans if they want to play they want to play now if they want to do something they want to do it now so it's like it's still a challenge and it's easier said than done all right but 
what you have to do is to find a common ground, some form of understanding if you have your support team so that you have a plan in place that you can go to, you can, you know, go take that plan. Now, if you don't have a support team, you may want to reach out to your boss and see if you can have flexi uh, time. I know, yes, you're already working remotely, so you're thinking I you already have flexi time, but not quite because you're still expected to work within those that hour time frame. So you may want to, you know, rearrange or find a timeline that works a bit better for you because it's a lot. Honestly, it's a lot. You're trying to manage your household and you're managing work at home and you have other things that you're dealing with your children, you're dealing with their activities, you're dealing with them being able to manage and make sense out of everything that's happening and everything is happening at once. So it's happening simultaneously. So it's a lot to juggle. So I can understand where you can feel, where you'll feel frustrated, where you'll feel confused and where you'll feel annoyed. It's, you may even feel depressed. A lot is just happening. So what you want to be able to do is to be able to minimize that. Uh, and minimize the way how you're feeling by trying to control what is happening. And granted, everything is not going to be possible for you to control, but there are some things that you can control. So you want to set those things in place by setting those uh, boundaries, right? Something so simple by saying to your children, and this is F their path, the toddler age, you know, I'm working from this time to this time, speak with me during these hours, or I can assist you during this hour, these hours. So that is, it's the same thing if you were at work, they, weren't be, they wouldn't have been able to come to you nagging all the time. So set those things in place. Also, you wanna set boundaries with your colleagues. Don't have unnecessary calls coming in that you know they just wanna chit chat or they just want someone who they can just you know blow fools off. So yes, you it's okay to have a conversation with them, but you wanna be able to minimize that because you don't want to be distracted from completing your task for the day. You also want to be careful by what you how you prioritize, what is important, what is um, pressing, like it needs to happen now, and what can be placed in the file for tomorrow. There are many things that can be placed for tomorrow, so don't become so confused with, you know, this thing is really urgent. It might be urgent, but it may be urgent for later and not urgent for now. Those things that are urgent for now, focus on those, and those things that can wait, put them off until later so that you don't feel so overwhelmed. No, the other thing you want to also do as well is take water. So make sure you're drinking water throughout your day, sipping on your water. You're not supposed to be like, you know, just chugging it down, but sip on your water throughout the day so that you stay hydrated. Get up and take a walk through in your home, stretch your legs and stuff. Don't stay sitting for too long because you don't, that's not healthy for you. So you want to get up and stretch your legs. Now you have children, at, if you have children at home who are having challenges with the online schooling because now this is, this is something that has never happened for many. And for those of you who have already been out the gate, you know, having trained, have doing studying online and doing work online, congratulations, you're ahead of the game. But for those of you who are now doing it for your first time, especially, and, and maybe you've done it before, but now you're doing it is different because if everybody's online, it can be very overwhelming. You have so many assignments, you have so many deadlines, everything's just happening behind each other and you don't know how to deal with that. And then as a parent, you have to be able to assist your child and you yourself, you're struggling with your own working from home or right, to dealing with everything and everything is just happening all at once. Now I want you to take a deep breath and then let's start. So one of the things you want to do with your online assignments is have a planner. Plan out your assignments for, for the week. I'm sure you will get those things ahead of time, hopefully. If you do, make sure you plan them out. You want to plan some study time and you want to have some break times in there where you get to do something that's fun and exciting for you. If you like to watch uh, movies or pictures, find a movie that you like, something that makes you laugh or something that makes you feel happy or whatever. And you watch that, spend some time with that, but don't stay there for too long, but just get that moment so you can just flip a refresher and then go back to actually doing the work. Have a study group, you can study together as a group. Make sure you pick people in your group who are going to be able to contribute to your group. So you study together as a group, you learn from each other, you share your perspectives and opinions, and then you're able to build. So when you're ready to 
finish up those assignments and you don't have to wait until the tutor or the lecturer says get into a group you can actually study with those people without waiting for that you don't have to wait for that to be assigned to a project you can actually do your assignments together depending on what those assignments are you can share those assignments together not to share your work but share your ideas share your thoughts and your perspectives that helps a lot you know I find for me when I was studying um, just reading out the book was not enough for me so I look for a lot of videos I love to watch videos so I found videos on YouTube that related to the course and I was able to watch them and I understood them a lot better maybe that method may work for you you can watch those videos there are some movies that may relate to some of these things depending on what course you're doing look for those videos as well and watch those movies as well and that would also be able to assist you you want to also spend some time and pray to God yes because he is the author and finisher of our faith and he would assist you he would guide you and he would help you so want to spend some time and pray to him about that and then finally you also want to be able to communicate well with your lecturer or your or your tutor you know if there's something that you need clarity on don't be afraid to say you know I don't understand so that they can explain that to you make sure you understand exactly what they're asking of you so that you're able to you know effectively and efficiently produce the work that they're requiring from you because you don't want to just stay there I know it's like I don't understand I don't understand but yet so you don't say anything you know you know that that's just a waste of time so ask those questions find out what you need to find out so that you can get that assistant and if you're studying for a coming test it's always good to attempt past papers it's always good to go through those just to be sure you know find somebody else who've already done it and ask some questions see if they may be able to assist you with how they were able to complete it you're now trying to figure out some of the platforms at that point I know there's not much you can do because you don't know the platform and more than likely the institution is not quite familiar as yet with the platform because everything is still yet new so you want to give it some time and whenever you feel overwhelmed or pressure take a break don't force yourself to complete everything in that time frame take a break get a refresher and come back again and then you're able then to finish up what you have started so thank you so much guys for tuning in to my channel today I just really wanted to stop by and share a few tips with you so that you guys can be able to manage this process as frustrating confusing and annoying it may be but one thing I want to leave with you guys is to remain focused and stay strong because we're gonna get through this together you don't have to worry everything is going to be okay trust me okay but thanks for tuning in to queen's mindset remember like share and subscribe